Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for September the 1st of 2021. Well, it is titled Dancing Ghosts, Curved Jets from Active Galaxies. So what do we see here? Well, this is looking at jets from an active galaxy. And when we look at the radio emission coded in the green here, we can see the the two galaxies that are expelling these jets. One of those is in the top center. And you can see jets coming out of that. And then down towards the lower left, you can see another galaxy with the jets coming out of it. Now the jets of material come from the central black hole. We know that each galaxy has a supermassive black hole, which may be millions or even billions of times the mass of our sun. And when those accrete material, they generate a large amount of energy and strong magnetic fields around them can funnel material into very long jets of particles spiraling out. And as they're confined by magnetic field lines, electrons that stream around those magnetic field lines produce a particular type of radiation known as synchrotron radiation, which then is visible in the radio portion of the spectrum. So it is the electrons accelerating along these magnetic field lines that produce the long that produce the energy that we are able to see. But the ultimate energy source would be uh, something uh, at the center involving the black hole. Now, what when we get these shapes, normally the jets push material straight out. So these ones we can see are quite curved, which could have something to do with the uh, galaxies and their motions. If the galaxies are moving, you could have the jets being left behind over time or the intergalactic winds that sculpt these much as we see stellar winds that sculpt the areas around of nebulae around star forming regions. Perhaps great galactic winds between the galaxies actually are able to sculpt the shape of the jets such as the ones that we see today. And a lot of these jets again are associated with radio emission. And we didn't know a whole lot about them until radio telescopes became prominent about 50 to 60 years ago, and were able to begin to map the sky in radio waves giving us a different view of the universe. Up until that time, everything that we knew was based on visible light. And then we added a whole new range of the electromagnetic spectrum. And we now can study objects across the entire spectrum from radio waves to infrared light to visible light to ultraviolet light to x rays and gamma rays. So looking at the complete spectrum helps give us a more complete picture and to understand interesting objects like these. So that was our picture of the day for September the 1st of 2021. It was titled Dancing Ghosts Curved Jets from Active Galaxies. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.